All right, good morning everyone. Another wonderful day out here on the ocean. I don't know if you can tell from the GoPro, but man, it's so glassy today. A little bit of swell, but really not much and absolutely no wind at the moment. I'm sure it's not gonna stay like this all day, but for now, this is really, really nice weather. Hopefully it stays like this for a little bit. We'll get some fishing time in while it's still nice and calm. But uh, yeah, you don't see it like this very often out here on the on the open ocean. And I uh, started doing this thing where I kind of just pedal out to the, where like an area where I'm gonna probably start fishing. And just kind of sit there for a second. You know, take a look at the surroundings, get a little bit of an idea of where everything is. Like there's a little fleet of boats out here. There's another fleet of boats out this way. You know, some kayaks scattered all around. And I just saw a bird dive right there actually. But I think those kind of things actually really helps just kind of getting a lay of the land because sometimes when you're just in the zone you know, you're fishing you're fishing hard you're not always seeing everything that's happening around you so anyways that's what I just did right now I just jigged up some bait I didn't bring any bait today so I jigged up a little bit right now found a little bait ball and uh, yeah now we're gonna start fishing put the sabiki away we'll start looking for big fish So same setup as usual, triple ancho behind a little flasher and every time I set my bait back you always want to check to see, make sure your bait's looking good. Um, what you do with that little crippled anchovy is you give it a little bend and that makes that bait spin in the water like this. And I don't know if it just mimics maybe a fish swimming, like a little anchovy swimming or, or if that little action just kind of triggers the salmon but either way. The roll is key. It's all about the presentation. And we're gonna drop this on the downrigger. Start at 25 feet. All right, we're officially fishing. Oh, by the way, last time, I know I said that I was gonna send off this kayaking style, but I've actually got one more piece of the kayak. The kayak itself is fine, but one of the accessories needs replacing. So that is why I'm back out on this kayak again. Hopefully very soon. But you know, gonna get another workout today, doing some trolling. Hopefully the salmon cooperate rather early. So we don't have to stay out here and pedal around all day. But if that's what it takes, that's what we're gonna do. huge but it's fish. Yeah, small one. Hmm. That's a small keeper, but I'm gonna let him go. That's a keeper, small keeper, but I'm gonna let him go. Just here. Quick release. Yeah, it's a little king, probably about 21 inches or so. Quick release. No skunk. Let's look for the big one now. So I think that fish 
I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't sure. I was kind of watching. I think it hit once. Didn't get hooked. And then came back for it again. I'll have to review the footage, but pretty sure that's what just happened there. Not a huge one, but a fish nonetheless. You know what? I think we're gonna keep this one. Into the net. Yeah, we'll keep that one. So if you watched my last video, I caught a silver salmon. So anytime you catch one, especially one that's a little bit smaller like this one is, you always want to check those gums. But wow, that's king. I also found out with the silver salmon, there's a couple other distinguishing features. So one is the tail, like so they have ridges if you run your finger this way. If you think of all the tail spines that go out, there's the ridges there. But apparently the silver salmon have ridges if you run your finger going with the tail, if you know what I'm saying here. But this one's pretty smooth. Hopefully I can catch another silver at some point to test that theory. This one also has spots all the way up and down the tail. I think that's another secondary feature, but the main thing is the gums. This one has the black gums. 22, definitely not huge, but I was kind of thinking after I let that small keeper go, I was like, you know what? It'd be nice if I could have a quick limit, get home, you know, relatively early in the morning so I have to tire myself out every time. So that's what we're going for today. All right, so here's the rule. If I catch one smaller than 22, release it. Bigger than, actually, you know what? 22 is still kind of small. Smaller than 24, we're releasing. Bigger than 24, we're keeping from here on out. That's a big one. Look at that. Holy. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Dude, I'm gonna run out of line here pretty soon. That's a big one. That's a big one. Holy smokes. Gotta recover line. Gotta recover line. Yeah, this is a big one. In line back. Very cooperative. Everything's going well. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Alright. Alright. I like the way this is going. Everything is working as planned. No boats around. We're way away from the fleet. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but it's all behind me there. There's the flasher. No. 
not really sure how big this one is. It's definitely bigger than the last one, but I mean, it could be a 30 and it could be a 20 and it could be a 10. I don't really know. I don't want to bring it back the other way. There he is. Oh, it's healthy. It's a healthy fish. Got some shoulders for sure. Oh, this might be my chance. Nope. Not yet. really wants to go underneath the kayak for some reason. Easy there. Easy there, cowboy. This might be my time. He turn his head. Got him. Got him. Big boy. Boom. Limit by 9 o'clock. So like 8.51. All right, let's put him on the stringer real quick. That's a nice, healthy king right there. That one put up a really good fight. Honestly, I thought he was bigger than he was. Limit by 9 o'clock. Definitely can't complain with that. Still a really nice day out here. I mean, look at this, it's like glass out here. You could fish all day with this kind of weather. But um, yeah, quick adventure, nothing much to it. Three fish, first one was keeper, but it's really small, probably 21 inches or so. Second one, 22 incher, decided to keep it. And then this guy right here, uh, I'd say he's probably about 30 inches, maybe 10 to 12 pounds, something like that. But um, yeah, really nice day out here on the kayak. Can't complain, awesome weather, and the fishing was good. I mean, if the limit wasn't two, I um, have little doubt that I would be able to hook up another fish or two, but got my limit. We're gonna head in, I'm actually fishing tomorrow, so it'll be good to get home early, rest, clean up, and then get some rest before tomorrow. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.